Hey guys, uh, this is Jose and this is tutorial number 4 uh, in conditionals. So, okay, we are um, we have this content from the past script, so I'm just going to remove this and we're going to start from scratch. Uh, let's see what a conditional is. Basically the idea of an if statement. Uh, and we'll follow this the, um, this the following structure, okay? So we're going to say if condition right? We need to specify a condition here, uh, and I'm gonna put column here. Um, this statement will happen, right? Something like, let's do something like rs dot add point, as we've been doing, or um, let's try something like print true, right? Um, and we could say else print false, right? So uh, this is the structure of an if statement. You, we need to specify um, a condition that would be checked. If that condition is true, this bit of code that is indented here would get executed. If it's not true, this bit of code would get executed. We can omit all this bit altogether, you know, and, and we will only print true if this condition is true, right? And uh, so what kind of condition can we evaluate? Let's say if i is bigger than 10, right? Uh, right now we don't have anything called i, or so we're going to say something like i is equal to 20. Right? So in this case, it's very simple, it's uh, very clear. i is definitely bigger than 10. Well, let's try that. And we are printing true. Um, right. So what if it's less than 10? We're going to print false, right? So straightforward, that's very simple. Um, these uh, operations uh, could get more complex and we're going to see how to use them in a more complex way with uh, ands and ors or evaluations of let's say what if it's we, we say something like equals equals saying if it's equal than 10 this would have to be 10 so this is a, a, an expression of equality it's like looking and checking if these values are equal uh, it's not assigning as, as it would be like just one uh, symbol of um, equality like so in this case we're checking so let's see this is true right um, and there's another one called non-equality so it's something like that if it's not 10 right in this case anything but 10 would be print true right so let's mix a little bit of things that we've done already um, let's bring an for loop so for i um, in range From zero to hundred, and uh, so we're gonna indent this further. Like this, uh, so everything inside here is gonna happen a hundred times, right? So we're gonna say, if i is smaller than thirty, we're gonna say rs dot at point and where do we add this point mm, zero 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 um, here we're gonna say something like i in x right so if it's m smaller than 30 we're gonna add a point uh, with the coordinates of i else saying if it's bigger than 30 we're gonna do something else, right? Let's do something like dot add sphere, right? So we're going to add a sphere in that position with a radius of 2. Um, so let's check this and see what, what do we have. Okay, perfect. Um, 
Oh, we generated a, quite a bit of sphere, so it's taking a bit of time. Um, but you can see that from 0 to 30, we are printing points. Else, print spheres. Right? So that's what we got here. Um, I'm going to just do it like... Um, how can we say something like odd and even, right? I'm going to do less in this case because I think that we did basically too many. Um, but I'm going to try to make points and spheres uh, and we're going to do the spheres much smaller, like 0 0.3 radius, right? Um, so we're going to do a check that is like this. We're going to say I modulo 2 equals equals 0. Modul this, this operation is the remainder, right? So what we're checking here is like what if we divide I times 2? Is there any remainder to the division? If there's not, that means that 2 fits perfectly in I, so that's a, a even number we are going to generate a point. Else, so in the case of an uh, odd number, we're going to generate a sphere. So this is a, it's a simple way of actually um, doing sequences, in this case an odd even number, but we could also say 3 or 5, and every 5 we're going to generate a sphere, we're going to see that. So let's try that. Right, so that's very small, but we can see here that we have dot sphere, dot sphere, and so forth. I'm gonna undo the script, control C, and I'm gonna do the same thing every five frames, and this time I'm gonna do 40, maybe, right? Right, so you can uh, notice that when you run the script, uh, we can see um, the points appearing in the screen sequentially, right? Uh, we can see as if it was an animation, but that's just that it's the script is running uh, sequentially and, and and it's showing us the progress of of the script. Um, that's kind of interesting if you're if you really want to see what are the steps of the script. But if you really want to get the result done fast, you want to add the following line, right? So we're going to see rs dot enable. Uh, redraw, right? Uh, and this is a very important function that will allow us, whenever we're doing looping like this, just to make the script much run uh, run much faster, right? So we're going to say enable redraw uh, false, and be careful with the, the spelling here. It needs to be capitalized, and you'll see that it turns blue. Um, but this will say, okay, don't draw anything on the screen. Don't redraw, refresh the screen, right? So we need to just tell the script when to refresh the screen. When do we draw the material that we've been building on, right? All this stuff that we're doing in the for loop. So we're going to say rs dot um, enable redraw again. And in this case, we're going to say true, right? So we can run the script now. And you'll see that it's instant, right? It's extremely fast the way in which this every four frames we got a dot. This is due to the um, like the fifth element will be a dot basically, right? Every four and the fifth is going to be a dot, and we got the sequences of spheres and dots, right? And um, so in this way, what we're looking at in this uh, summarizing a little bit this tutorial is just the if statement, the else condition. Um, we also use uh, looking at what is the remainder operation and this enable redraw. Uh, you could have these lines really hashed out, you know, like that. Uh, and when you really want to get the speed, like you really know what you're getting out of the script and the script is running well, you can just bring them in so you could actually make the script run much faster. I hope that you like this and the next uh, lesson we're gonna see functions